So today I'm in the studio with Last Light by Mafrotto and we're using the amazing highlight again. Today though, we're getting creative because we're using the highlight shaper. The kit itself is basically the shaper, which is the hanging piece of material with the rod system along the top as well as the little clips. Now this allows us to completely change the look and the feel to this massive light source. By design, the highlight was originally to create a very light and bright background, and many of you have seen me using it as a very big light source as well. But of course, as soon as you start to use it as the light source instead of as the background, you want to get a little bit more creative with it. And that's what the highlight shaper allows us to do. Being able to actually move it along the rail to completely change its look and feel, to cut out some or a lot of the light. In the first setup, we're using flat light, and basically I'm hiding in the light with the light shaper. Otherwise, you'll be seeing my silhouette in the highlight itself. So in this setup, you're really going to see the light shaper really come alive, creating loads of different looks and feels just by simply moving the highlight shaper up and down the pole itself. Remember, the creativity is always in your hands, but think about the quality of the light. So if you're looking for a silhouette, move the light shaper towards camera position to cut out and subtract the light. If you're looking for the twin light effect, then basically put the subject in the middle of the highlight with the light shaper in the middle, and that will give us the effect of a four o'clock catch light in the eye, as well as a two o'clock accent light coming through. So it gives us so much variety, it's really just down to your imagination and get out there and have some fun with it. 